This is Dr. Zakir Naik. The Christians explain the concept of tr Trinity scientifically by giving the example of water, which can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, in the form of ice, water, and vapor. Similarly, one God is a tri triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is this explanation scientifically correct? There are Christians who say that scientifically we can prove the concept of Trinity, like how water can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas like ice, water and vapor. So similarly, you know, God is in three forms, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. How to reply and is this scientifically correct? Scientifically, I do agree, water can be in three forms. Solid, liquid and gas, ice, water and vapor. But scientifically, we also know that the component of water remains the same, H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. The component remains the same, the constituent remains the same, the forms keep on changing, there is no problem. Let's check with the concept of Trinity. Concept of Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Form, they say form changes. Okay, for sake of argument we agree. Does the component change? God and Holy Ghost is made of spirit. Human beings are made of flesh and bones. They aren't the same. Human beings require to eat. God doesn't require to eat to survive. They aren't the same. And this is testified by Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 36 to 39. He says that, Behold my hands and feet, handle me and see, for a spirit has no flesh and bones. He says, Behold my hands and feet, handle me and see, for a spirit has no flesh and bones. And he gave his hand and they saw, and they were overjoyed. And he said that, Do you have any meat to eat and they gave him broiled fish and a piece of honeycomb and he ate to prove what? that he was God? to prove that he was not God he ate and his flesh and bones a spirit has got no flesh and bones this proves that it is scientifically not possible that Father, Son and Holy Ghost Father, Jesus Christ, Peace, the Holy Ghost is Almighty God and he said Jesus he came to them and he said okay touch my hands and uh, you know touch me and see me and to prove what this is what he said he said to prove that he is not God you are a liar and here this is up after the crucifixion of the Messiah so when he came back they were terrified they could not believe that this is the Messiah again because they, you know the, the, the Roman just killed him so he you, if you read with me in here this is verse number 36 he spoke he spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and afraid and supposed that they had seen a spirit. So they could not believe what they saw. So he wanted to, to prove to them, you know, you are not seeing a ghost. I am the Messiah himself coming back to you from death. So actually in here he proved he is God. Because everybody, when he go to death, he don't come back. He raised his body from death, and he is showing that and proving that to them. So actually, the verse he mentioned, proving to us that the Messiah is our Lord, because he is showing that he is alive even after death. He do not need wait to wait for resurrection day to resurrect like us for judgment day. He is the one who laid you know, down his, his, his body and he is the one who raised up his body again. So the verse he mentioned it's totally the opposite from what he's saying. Now we will go and show you from the Quran how we can defeat the cult of Islam about eternity. To show you that Islam is the religion of eternity in everything from the beginning to the end. Follow with me. Now regarding the Bible he said, which is a lie, that the, that the eternity in the Bible doesn't exist. And if we go to Matthew 28 verse number 19, you will see, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So it is not only there, it's an order from the Messiah to do by the authority. This is an authority. By the name. When you say by the name of, it is mean by the authority of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So when he says it's not exist in the Bible, this is a lie. And yes, it exists and big time. Secondly, if we go and see in the Quran, we will see that the Quran is the book of a three. Everything in the Quran is a three. When Mary in Surah 19 verse number, uh, verse number 10, she was uh, pregnant in the Messiah supposedly, Allah he told her, 
to say to people not uh, you know I'm not I'm not going to talk I am fasting for three nights why why she fast three nights what about fasting seven days or fasting uh, five days or t 14 days why three nights does it make sense if you go to different verse in the Quran Surah 2 verse 1, 169 you know those people they should fast three days why fasting three days will forgive your sin doesn't make sense what about four five six seven if you go to Surah 3 verse 124 you will see Allah is sending 3,000 angels why you don't send 5,000 angels isn't it better what about sending 6,000 angels what about uh, 7 8 why 3 if you go to Surah uh, 36 14 you will see in here uh, uh, he sent two messengers but he made them strong by the third so two what wasn't enough the third is the one who completed the mission why three messengers and by the way in here this uh, this chapter is talking about Paul always we hear Muslims attacking Paul calling him names they do not know the ignorant that Paul is mentioned in the Quran and he was one of the most powerful messengers of Allah but the funny Allah he forgot that those are the messenger of the Messiah which even written in the explanation of Ibn Kathir and Al-Qurtubi which prove that Jesus Christ is God because the one who sent messengers he have to be God messengers don't send messengers messenger prophet don't send prophet the only one who sent prophets is God and those according to the Islamic books the three messengers they are the messenger of the messiah and in there in the quran is talking allah is saying as if he is the one he sent them but in the same time he is saying those are the messenger of the messiah so three why three what about four what about five if we continue we will see the following surah 65 verse number four if the woman she was divorced she have to wait for three months what about waiting for one month if it's about the period just to show you how stupid the god of islam it is one period enough to prove that she is not uh, pregnant do the God Islam knew that if she have one period it's mean that's it so why she have to wait for three periods the Muslims will say to you because to be sure she is not a Britain showing you they're ignorant the women from the first time she gave her, you know her her period she has it it's mean she is no Britain so there is no need to wait for a three period so why she have to wait for three months what about waiting for four or five or six or seven three always a three if we continue in the Quran we will see the Chapter 65 verse 230 if a Muslim woman she is divorced from her husband three times she cannot remarry him again unless she go and sleep with someone else why Allah forbid the man if he divorced his wife three times to have her back unless she get somebody else why three continue following Quran 18 number 25 those are three Christians who went to the cave and they slept in the cave 300 years in the top of them nine which means three plus a three plus a three so three Christian 300 years plus three plus three plus three what's wrong with this number three it's all over in the Quran the God of Islam he don't have different number to use if we continue let us see Surah 24 verse number 58 if you want to go outside or to do something you have to ask for a permission in three time in three occasion three occasion why three occasion what about four come on God of all Islam you don't have it uh, 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 doesn't make sense Quran 39 verse number six you will see in here that uh, uh, the God of Islam he created the baby in three veil three stages three darkness why three what about four five six why he made it three it's very clear that number three is all over the Quran cannot the God of Islam make it in one stage can't he make it in one or two he should make it in one because if you know if the God of Islam he is a God supposedly okay he will say that the baby you are created that's it this is the, the uh, there is no need for stages as stages as he is saying in here God when he created you know when he say he created in three stages it's mean there's something important about those three he is telling us a message he is telling us something even my creation is in three stages why three nobody can answer if you go to surah 70 verse number 3 30 you will see that the shadow of a smoke uh, is skating in three columns why three columns and don't forget the muslim god always Muslim when they pray they pray in the three names in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful did you ask yourself why I will tell you why the God of Islam have 99 names which mean 3x 33 it's a multiply of the number 3 and by the way if you do not know 
33 is the age of the Messiah until he was crucified and you will see that 3x3 is 99 so even the names of Allah is been taken from the name of the Messiah and his his years of life and here you will ask yourself okay why even the names of Allah is 99 which is a 3333 3, 3 multiply why not 70 why not 80 why not 4 why not 1 if Allah is 1 do we need 99 names in the same time you will never see a Muslim starting his prayer without saying in the name of Allah in the name of Ar Rahman in the name of Ar Rahim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim as you see it in the name of Allah Rahman Ar Rahim why three he have 99 names why start only with three what about saying four of them what about saying five so Islam proving to us in every word in the Quran that we are right and Islam is false Christ is our Lord Islam have to bow down to Christ sooner or later Amin. follow with me